So even though the Houston Rockets didn't actually own their first round pick this year, it didn't really matter for them in the end because they obviously had a, a much better year that's gone low-key underrated. You can definitely tell they're building towards the playoff and, uh, and I think maybe next season or the season after, they'll probably definitely be there and doing quite well. But you know what? Of course, the draft lottery, the, the gods of the draft lottery work in mysterious ways and the Brooklyn pick that they actually had ended up jumping and going into the top four of the draft where they were able to land pick number three. So they've got a ton of pretty good players to, of course, choose from in this year's draft. Again, I actually believe there is a guy out there who I really like. Uh, it's going to be really interesting to see how they go. But, you know, in today's video, we're going to be talking about who I think they should, of course, select. Again, if you're wondering why I didn't select another player or something like that with this pick, please go and check out my official 2024 NBA mock draft post lottery, which will be linked in the description down below. That's why if you got any questions or anything like that, you can, uh, yeah, most of them will probably be answered if you go and check out that video, which will be linked in the description down below. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, uh, and comment without further ado. Let's get into it, man. Now with pick number three, we do have the Houston Rockets, who I believe actually have Brooklyn's pick, which I didn't even know that was going to get this high. I think this is one of the surprise ones that, of course, also jumped in that top five. Again, they got a ton of great players to, of course, select with this pick. I've actually got them taking Martez Bazoulas, though, who a lot of people have on all different ways. I've actually seen some guy have Bazoulas at the first overall pick, and then some guys have him at pick seven. I really, really like Bazoulas and how he plays. He's another one of those guys who has now played against, obviously, veteran experience playing in the G League. He's playing. He's played against grown-ass, man. He has done all of that type of stuff. Again, he is a very, very good player. Extremely high basketball IQ who consistently makes great plays on both sides of the ball. He's a great mover off the ball as well, like... There's a chance you're going to hit this dude up in the corner if you find him open, of course. Again, he's a very solid passer. Some people are saying that he is one of the best passers in this whole entire draft. Again, the stats might not show it, but as a 6'10", small forward, the fact that this guy can run the floor and pass it with absolute ease is absolutely awesome. His shot is really, really good, and he can hit the three-point really well i believe too and again he's a really solid off ball defender who is definitely going to convert to the nba on both sides of the court again some downsides right sometimes his scoring was a bit inefficient but he being in the g league and playing against that competition that that can happen you're going to have games where he would be matched up against the 23 year old young inexperienced guy who he probably tore, tore apart but then he's going to have games where he was probably against some really experienced guy who would have been twice as strong as him, really making it hard for him to score. Again, getting that experience in now already combats it for the NBA. Again, sometimes the ball in his hands when he's not looking to pass can be a little bit uh, not, not that good. Like he can, you know, turn it over or get the ball stolen off him. But then when he does have you know, the ball in his hands that he's not got super competition at him. Again, he does make a very good pass of the ball. That can also be led to, again, he's playing really, really good and experienced guys. Outside of maybe the NBL, the, the G League would be the other elite competition outside of the NBA too. So there's some very good guys he had to play against. A lot of people are actually comparing him to Franz Wagner with just his scoring and his shooting. As mentioned earlier, he's a great shooter, right? And uh, the, the best thing is, too, he can score, whether it's being an off-ball player or a shot creator. Martez Bazoulas can absolutely do both. Now, he's going to come into this Houston Rockets team and be very, very effective. I still think they'll be looking at some forwards. They might be moving on from Ja'Shawn Tate or whatever, a couple of other players here and there, maybe, as well. But I think they've got their guards. They like Fred Van Vliet. They like Armen Thompson too. So I think they're good on their guards. They've got Alfred Shangun at center. Jock Landale at backup who got better and better as the season went. 
I think they'll be looking for a forward with this pick. And I definitely feel like Bazoulas is the best available there. He can fit in with their defensive, you know, scheme that they're trying to, of course, do over there in Houston. And again, he adds another shot creator to Fred Van Vliet and Alpha Ren Schengen. And the reality is, I think he could literally start tomorrow for the Houston Rockets. This is a really good player who makes a ton of sense. Again, they've got good players there. Like if maybe they want to start Armand Thompson with Van Vliet next season and Brooks at the three. Bazoulas can always come off the bench to start off with. That's definitely an important scenario. Again, touch wood, this doesn't happen for the Rockets. But injuries do happen. We, of course, know that. And I think there's very well a big opportunity where he is starting a ton of games. Again, they got Jabari Smith, of course, at that powerful position as well. But again, if he was to get injured, touch wood doesn't happen. That's another position Bazoulas can legitimately play. He can obviously play some powerful ball as well. So this is a great pick by the Houston Rockets. This is automatically going to come in and help them get that extra step into their rebuild and possibly be a playoff team next season. So very good things happening for the Houston Rockets. And this pick is obviously extremely smart and makes a ton of sense but of course if you haven't already i'd really like to know what you guys think about my official 2024 nba mock draft top five picks definitely don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinions on these down below subscribe to my gaming channel of course subscribe to my irl slash long channel and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any more nba videos and all the latest draft content this and that Again, I highly appreciate you guys and how you guys have been around for all these draft videos. It's been absolutely awesome to make them. I've got a ton more coming out, so definitely stay tuned for that. But of course, again, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.